Hey, it's Angie Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at Microsoft Power BI, which is a business intelligence tool for visualization business data. And here's a screenshot of the Power BI desktop. And Power BI uh, can get a little bit confusing because they have a lot of things under the Power BI name, but I'll break them down here so it's nice and clear. So the Power BI desktop is a way to uh, design and adjust reports. The Power BI mobile is a, uh, a view reports on the go on your phone. Power BI service, sometimes called the Power BI portal, is to access and modify reports in the cloud. And Power Power BI Embedded is a way to embed Power BI components into your applications. And usually you need to get data into uh, a Power BI. And so this is one of the most powerful reasons why people like using it. It's because it in ingests with so many data sources. So in here, this is the desktop one. You go in and you can go under Azure and there's all like every Azure service you'd ever want. If you go to the database tab, there's a lot of database integrations for Postgres, MySQL, everything. It's crazy. Uh, and so Power BI can directly integrate with Azure services as you saw here. Couldn't be bothered to make a, a graphic here, but um, you know, here you can see you can get things from HD Insights, SQL databases, uh, account storage, machine learning, stream analytics, event hubs, things like that. Uh, so just to compare the two, because these are the most important services is the desktop and the service, and they're very easy to get mixed up. So Power BI Desktop is a, down, is, is a downloadable free Windows application and installed on a local Windows computer. If you're on a Mac, you cannot use it, sorry, or Linux either. Report, uh, it, it, can, it has report, or sorry, so the role that somebody would be using would be you would be a report designer and you'd use uh, the desktop application to publish Power BI reports to the Power BI service, okay? And Power BI service is a cloud-based service where users view and interact with reports. Users in Power BI service can edit the reports and create visuals based on the existing data model, and they can share and collaborate with coworkers. So just looking at the overlapping services, Power BI Desktop has many data sources, transforming, shaping and modeling measures, calculated columns, Python themes, RLS creation. Uh, and then on the Power BI service side, you have some data sources that you can ingest. Uh, dashboards, that is the key thing for Power BI services that you get dashboards. You don't get that on the Power BI desktop part. Apps and workspaces, sharing, data flow creation, paginated reports, RLS management, gateway connections. Paginated reports is actually with the builder, which you have to download, so I'm not sure why it's in there. Both, uh, you get reports, visualization, security, filters, bookmarks, Q&A, and R visuals. But just make a note here that you use the uh, Power BI desktop to create reports, and then they're get, they can be used in Power BI service to create dashboards, okay?